YouTube, what is up guys? Today is my lucky day because I scored this sleek, awesome Ibanez SR300 for 50 bucks. Um, it is quite beat up. It is used. It's the 2010 model. It was from a former professional musician. So I got this on the Facebook marketplace. He listed it at $100. I messaged him within like the first five minutes of him listing it. And uh, I just said, is it still available? You know, like the random thing you can click. I never heard back from the guy. Like a day and a half later, I decided to message him again. Like, hey, dude, uh, just was wondering, is it still available? Uh, I'm very interested. And then he messaged me back saying, yeah, so here's the thing. After I listed it, uh, I plugged it in. It won't make any sound. So he's like, I don't, I don't know anything about electronics or, you know, or anything. Um, so do you still want it? I'll cut you a deal. And I'm like, okay, yeah, what are you thinking? And he said, have yeah, 50 bucks. So I said, of course, I'll take it. 50 bucks. Well, long story short, it was just a wire came disconnected from the potentiometer. And I just soldered it back in in two seconds. Literally, um, this, the bolt under this knob wasn't all the way tight. So when you screwed this, the potentiometer would spin underneath it too. And it spun too far and ripped out the wire. It took literally five seconds to fix it. And now it powers up and it actually sounds amazing. Sounds great. Uh, there was quite a quite a few little um, marks on it. Like it's got a big gouge out of it. Like see if I can get the light to reflect right there. You see that right there? Yeah. Right there. Really bad. A bunch of little ones everywhere though. Uh, right there, another big one. I don't know if my camera, there you can see that, where it's reflecting. Trying to get the light to shine on it so you can see it. This black color, it is kind of nice though because it does hide a lot of the stuff. But there is little dings all over the freaking thing. Also too, the fretboard was pulling up. The veneer right there was pulling up and uh, I had to super glue it and clamp it. Um, but it went right back down, turned out fine. The, but the neck was straight and you know, it's professionally set up. So it's funny. Um, yeah, this dude just told me, he's like, yeah, a couple years ago I got a real job and I had to quit touring and everything and I quit playing music. I had a couple kids, so I wanted to be, you know, more of my kid's life and stuff. And he's like, yeah, so I got no reason to keep, because he says he has a bunch of basses and guitars. And he's like, I, there's no point in me keeping so many of them. I'm just going to keep a couple of them and sell the rest of them. Um, so I don't think this guy even, like, really, like, he's giving me for 50 bucks. And I don't think he really cared about the money. I think his wife was just telling him he had to get rid of some of the stuff. Because, uh, yeah, the guy pulled up in a nice car and stuff, so... Um, I, at first I kind of felt bad, I'm like, dude, he gave me this for like 50 bucks, <laughs> but, um, but then I was like, yeah, whatever. There was a big, uh, like, indent here on the neck, and I actually used a soldering iron and a wet, uh, a wet a rag that was just like a piece of a t-shirt, and it puffed it right back up and it looks fine. I, uh, I would wish I would have done that on camera, but I didn't think it was going to work, so I didn't film it. Uh, but yeah, so I have the... GSR 200 Geo, the model under this. This is like their $350 model. And I have that one that I got, I paid for like a hundred bucks for off Facebook in mint condition. And I really like that bass too, but this one just, oh, I think it blows it out of the water. It feels so nice to play. The neck is like so skinny. And also check this out. It's a five piece maple neck. Like, I mean, come on, that is so sick. There's the battery door, uh, the electronics box. Now, I'm debating if I'm going to hydro dip this. I don't know. I think I'm just going to leave it for now at least, uh, maybe later. There's a lot of electronics here. There's actually a five. There's actually five knobs because this is like your master volume knob. I believe, what's this one? I believe this one is your pickup. Yeah, this is your pickup selector. So all the way there is front pickup. Middle is both. There's back. And then you can like blend the two if you go like in betweens and stuff. Uh, I think this is like the fat EQ, which is like a bass boost. Okay. And then I think this is like your treble. And this is like your, your, I don't know. These are two tone knobs. I think the top one's like your high tones, the bottom one's your low tones. Uh, bass boost, yeah. Pickup selector, master volume. Yeah, that's what it is. But yeah, there's, there's like a lot of electronics in here. So I don't know if I'll take it apart and do anything to it. But um, I'm just, you know, I'm still a noob. I'm not like a pro or anything. But I'm good enough to play along to some songs on Rocksmith on hard. And that's the best we can do. So this video will probably get demonetized. So I want you guys to smash that like button, leave a comment. And uh, I'm not making any money on this video anyway, so might as, might as well do something for me. And uh, yeah, let's go over there and uh, let's, let's play some punk rock. Okay guys, so for this video we're going to be playing Pennywise, We Have It All. This is probably the hardest song that I can get through the whole song. It's a lot of fun to play though, so hopefully I don't mess it up too much and look like a total noob. So don't troll me too hard in the comments, but here we go. Time to play some video games.
We're gonna play it hard mode because I've already almost nailed the whole song on hard. Alright, let's make sure we're all tuned up here. Alright, here we go. I love this. This thing feels so nice though, just like in general. So here we go guys. Honestly, this guitar feels so much better than all my other basses. It just feels so nice. Watch this part. Woo! I only missed one note so far. Honestly, this game though is the easiest way to learn how to play an instrument. Like, oh man, I messed that part up. I've been playing this game for almost a week now, and I went from not even knowing what I was doing to playing full songs. And doing these cool tricks. I love this part. Woo, wait. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, this thing is so fun to play. It's so easy to do. Well, I'm not that good either, but like. It's just so easy to move on the fretboard compared to my other bases. I've only been playing though for a month altogether now. Playing this game for about five days and I'm already getting better than I got the whole rest of the month before that. Oh, I messed up the end there. Whew! Not too bad though for a noob. One, that one part where you gotta go like, whew! I punched the nut right there. Oh, there's a piece of my skin on it. But look at it. That's actually the second time I've done that. First time on this guitar. But yeah. The neck is so skinny and smooth that you can move up and down it so fast that I I went too fast and I freaking whacked it right into the nut. But the frets are so nice on this thing. This dude really like beat the crap out of the thing, but in the best way. Like it feels amazing. So yeah, let me know down in the comments. Do you think I should hydro dip it or do you think I should just leave it leave it as it is? Uh, also, do you think uh, or do you want to see a GSR 200 versus SR 300 video? Because I could do that. I was also thinking of doing like me, Ben, and CJ. CJ's been playing bass like his whole life. Like it never stopped. So he's like, and he works at Guitar Center. He's like a pro basically. Ben's like an intermediate. He's been playing on and off his whole life. And I just started. So we could do like the uh, comparison and use all three of us from like a perspective of a beginner, intermediate, and advanced player. I think it's a good idea. Let me know down below if you think I should do that. Also too, let me know are there any other videos you want to see me do. Let me know other punk songs you want to see me cover on here, uh, especially now that I'm getting a little better. Uh, give me a couple of weeks and I'll be just killing all these songs. So, thank you guys for watching. Um, keep on slapping that bass. And I'll see you later.